this. Um, well, we'll we'll stand a little bit later. Just um, we're gonna sing farther along now. Uh, just in the same hymnal for 27. If you have your hymn books with you, because I don't think it's quite up yet. But uh, farther along, the number 27. Tempted and tried. Tempted and tried. With off. Petitions and offering. Um, 
if you have a Thanksgiving, you can raise it, raise your hand just to know the Thanksgiving. I know we had several petitions read this morning. We want to continue to keep every single one of those people in, in prayer. And we'll ask Brother Alex to come pray for the petitions, the offering, um, to end for this service. Amen. Heavenly Father, at this time we're, we give you thanks for all the good things you've done for us that we are not aware Amen. of, Lord, that we raise our hands and we're thankful for that. Next, we have our, our brothers uh, that are bedridden, Lord. One of our brothers that we think about, that we've been communicated, that uh, they've told us that he's in the hospital, has a suffered a heart attack, and is in very bad shape, and his name is Brother Johnny Salinas, and we will keep him in prayer. And also, my family members, I have my Brother Gonzalo, he's having a hard time health-wise also, and Joe Huerta, another brother-in-law, and boy, we're, we're, we're being, our, our days are numbered, but we know that. Yeah, sure. But Lord, we, we know that you're a healer and we, we put a petition, Lord, and the petition that we have in our hearts is really, Lord Jesus, that our loved ones and our friends, Lord, may they go if, if they are to go at, at, at your appointed time. But Lord, with uh, with their sins under the blood, that's what we're talking about. Yes. That's yes. our focus. That's what we're trying to outreach to the people and our own yes. family members that don't, just don't quite understand us, Lord Jesus. But you understand them, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, cover them with the blood of Jesus, Lord Jesus. Amen. Have mercy on them, Lord yes. Jesus. Please, Lord God, as we plead for them, Lord Amen. Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We have no other place to go. And we, there are that's our desire. Amen. You save those that are savable, Lord Jesus. Amen. And we put ourselves there and we intercede for them, Lord Jesus. Have mercy on them, Lord Jesus. And we want to thank you all, so Lord Jesus, for for those of us that are healthy, Lord Jesus. Amen. For, for, we thank you for our health and thank yes, you for the jobs Lord. that you created for us and the little things that you've given us, the tokens to be able to be able to give here for a gasoline and stuff like that, Amen. Lord Jesus. You know our needs and you supply that and we thank you, Lord Jesus. We ask you to bless the offering tonight, Lord Jesus, and also our tithing. And we thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. We'll give you the honor and the glory. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. While we um, have the offering, we're going to sing Come and Die, number 43. Jesus has the table spread. make it through it one day without some that wine. So, Jesus has a table spread where the saints of God are shared. He invites his chosen people come and die. With his man he defeats and supplies our every need. Oh, tis sweet to sup with Jesus all the time. Jesus' table all the time. 
Yes. 
you. We bless you. Are you ready to hear the word tonight? Yeah. So we're going to sing Amazing Grace. Um, F, if you don't mind. F. Um, Amazing Grace. And we'll ask Brother Esteban Borunda to come and uh, deliver a, a message for us this evening. Looking forward to it. If you don't mind standing uh, again, just uh, as we as we prepare our hearts and our minds. Thank you. Uh, sign on the freeway that's awesome <laughs> oh man it was uh i'm not saying <laughs> god bless each and every one of you there is something that is is awesome uh we're, we're going to continue with the uh with uh the talking about elijah and and it is just so beautiful and we're gonna go to, to your bibles in kings chapter first kings chapter 19 first kings chapter 19 How many love the Lord? Amen. Right, right. <laughs> you don't mind, but I'm a reader right here. <laughs> but he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a juniper tree. And he requested for himself that he might die. And said, it is enough. Now, O Lord, take away my life, for I am not better than my father's. Amen. And as he lay and slept under the juniper tree, behold... 
Then an angel touched him and said unto him, Arise and eat. And he looked, and behold, there was a cake bacon on the coals. Man. Amen. I, I, I didn't see that right there. How many times have we been in this? Amen. Yes. <laughs> that is something that's awesome. Here's another one. And a cruise of water at his head, Man. and he did eat and drink and laid him down again. Yes. And the angel of the Lord came again Amen. and Amen. second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat, because the journey is too great for thee. Amen. Arise and eat. Let's, let, you may be seated. Uh, <laughs> Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your love and mercy. Forgive me, Lord Jesus. Lord, I believe that there's an awesome blessing for those that are watching and for those that are here, Lord. Yeah. May we arise and eat, Lord Jesus, be be strengthened, Lord Jesus, for the journey before us is too, yes. it is too strain, strenuous for us, Lord. Yes, Lord. It, we cannot do anything if it, uh, without you, Lord. We need your manna. We need your bread. We need your water, Lord. We need your, your anointing. We need everything that comes from you, Lord Jesus, Man. in this time, Lord. Thank we you. need it all, Lord. We need every fruit that you bear from the tree, Lord Jesus. We need it in vast numbers that we need it abundantly lord jesus amen you said he who thirsts or is hungry come and eat and drink and be filled lord <laughs> lord we ask in the name of the lord jesus christ amen amen <laughs> this is is there's something right here i changed the message a couple times uh, but there's just something that says run to the juniper tree amen. he didn't walk to the juniper tree yes. elijah just came down from mark carmel amen. carmel forgive me i'm not thinking about food Okay, <laughs> I said Carmel, <laughs> or Car <Yes. laughs> Carmel, and, and, and he ran to a tree at the threat of Jezebel. I, I, we've heard it many times, and, 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 and we've read it, and I've read it, and, and, and I, it was such an awesome thing for me, a revelation, it was a stimulation. We've heard it painted Jezebel. The painted Jezebel. Right. Hell, but when I read it, it says, when she saw the king that took Ahab's place Come coming on his chariot, what did she do? She looked out the window. <laughs> she put makeup on her face to greet him. Wow. Yes. That's what the Bible says. Yeah. Yes. I, I, I was like, wow. He, he, in her mind, she was like, here goes another man that I'm going to anoint and put under my finger, Man. under my thumb. But he, when he came, he drew his sword. Whoever is it with Ahab, because the Lord told him, the angel says, who had all his seed, all his family members, all who was under Ahab, slay them. Yeah. All his children. I was reading. This isn't the message. Why did I go there? I don't know. It's beautiful. Yes. And then when he came to the eunuchs, who is for God? Amen. Wow. They Amen. said, we are. Then do too. Jezebel, what the Lord had commanded, and fulfilling the scriptures, they threw her out the window. Yes. Yes. And at the night they went to go bury her, there was nothing left of her because the dogs ate her up, but it was nothing but a skull and, and, a, and a hand. Yes. Wow. Yes. Fulfilling the word of God. Yes. Wow. Brother Alex had said earlier, says that the United States, we also know that is type, is a type of Israel. Yes. We had an Ahab too. Yes. When we understand that, that John F. Kennedy was the Ahab, if you notice that Ahab, he was slain in his chariot. Yeah, man, he bled man, in his chariot. Man, right. Our, hey, the United States is Ahab. Man. John F. Kennedy, he yeah. was slain in his chariot. Yeah, he bled out in his chariot. Man. And all his children that followed him, even yeah. his brother, were slain. Man, man. Yes. Wow. I was, I not, was reading that. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Yes, sir. That's right. And I didn't hear it in Spanish. Yeah. Whoever preached it. It was a jubilee for me. Amen. Hey, Receive the fruit of the tree of life. Manna from above. Yeah. Brother, brother uh, Ernie had spoke. Manna from above. Heavenly. This is angel's food. Amen. He ran to a juniper tree. Yes, sir. Amen. Not just a, any tree. No. This juniper tree is in a class of an evergreen tree. Amen. Amen. There is only Amen. one evergreen tree that is known to us. Amen. That is the Jesus Christ, Amen. the evergreen tree. Amen. It could have been a palm tree. It could have been an oak tree. But it was a juniper tree. And from that juniper tree came manna. Bread of life. When he was talking about that, I was like, wow. He said he sent to manna bread. 
I started scratching my head. I said, well, where did he get this water? And I go, from the throne. And I was like, isn't there a river of water that flows from the throne? And I said, oh, my God. I said, I'm crazy. Maybe I should keep my mouth shut, but I already let it out. Nah. If I'm crazy, let me be crazy in this. Nah. They say, brother, that's not what it is. That's not what the Holy Ghost is. All that ball of fire that you had an experience with. Well, if that isn't, let me stay with this until that comes. Nah. How Brother Bram says, yes, if that isn't the Holy Ghost, let me stay with this until that comes. Nah. If this, Amen. if that has taken me, has brought me this far, Amen. then it will take me all the way. Amen. 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 That experience of the Holy Ghost on fire. Amen. Amen. Will take you all the way. It had everything that it has you have need of Amen. is within that ball of fire, in that experience. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Not just any old juniper tree. No. Not a palm tree. Not a ficus tree. No. <laughs> not not a, not a, a, a mesquite tree. Wow. A juniper tree. Amen. There's another tree. Why was it just a? a God hiding himself and revealing himself in simplicity. He hid himself in a juniper tree. Amen. Beautiful. In an evergreen tree. Amen. He is the tree of life. Yes. Amen. Genesis Amen. 2, 9 says, And out of the ground Amen. made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant in the sight and good for food. Amen. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden. Yes. That's the tree of life, that juniper tree right. that we're talking about. Yes. But but uh, Elijah had just performed miracles at the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. yes. Turning Israel back to the Lord. Even if they didn't want to, he still prepared a way for them from eating from this tree of knowledge of good and evil. That painted Jezebel. So what happened? He called them together and God of heaven answered in a supernatural sign to Israel that he was still the God that could answer by fire. And he did just what he always did. Answer prayer. Kept his word. And after all this, still it wasn't sufficient. And a little old Elijah, he didn't know what to do. So he ran to a juniper tree. I'm glad that there is a juniper tree. What did the quote say? I'm glad there is a juniper tree. All God's people needs to go to that. Yes. Juniper tree. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. He didn't say the tree of life. God hiding himself in simplicity and revealing himself in the same. Amen. It's a place where he was so discouraged. He didn't know what to do. So he ran out to himself and got under a juniper tree. He didn't walk. He ran. Yes. The Bible says, run. Right. Right. Oh. Amen. A lot of people say, that old geezer outran a chariot? He sure did. I'm sorry for saying old geezer, but that's what they see. They see other people, they see me, they see you, brother. Oh, you're a bunch of old geezers, you're old crazies. But he outran a chariot. He ran before the chariot, drawn by horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> and as another chariot came and picked him up. Wow. Wow. Crazy. I thought today was going to be crazy. So he ran. He did not walk. Out to himself and got under a juniper tree. Brother Brown says, many of us feel like going. Amen. There. Yeah. Yes. Isn't there something you were ever working in the sun? Dig a ditch, Amen. work in the yard, pull some weeds. Yes. You're like, if you're looking for a tree, I'm gonna go get some shade. Yes. Isn't it beautiful to go and get some shade in your backyard, yeah. your front yard? Yeah. Yes. If you don't have a tree, then you gotta get under your patio Amen. in Arizona. Yes. It's somewhere that's cool, yes. but it's refreshing when you can come to the tree. Yeah. Yes. 
Many of us feel like going there. And today, when we see the institutions filled with people of God, people of God in institutions, yes, many of them don't know that they're children of God and they're in institutions. Wow. Nervousness, nervousness, breakdowns, tensions, all. Oh, it makes us all want to run yes. to the juniper tree. Yes. Let's look at it. <laughs> this is going to be beautiful. The tree of life, of life. Jesus Christ in the boat. Hearing a deep call it to a deep. Amen. Knowing that there was a man that was screaming and crying and cutting himself. Amen. Looking because he was nervous. He was depressed. He was oppressed. Amen. He was bound. Right. And he needed Amen. a refreshness Amen. of that tree of life. He needed to get under it and receive of the fruit of that tree of life. Virtue, Amen. temperance, healing, yes, liberation. Amen. Amen. That's what he needed. And they came over onto the other side of the sea into the country of the Gadarenes. Mark chapter 5 verse 1. Amen. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. Yes, Many of us said, well, I'm not that person. So if we're going to say anything about the devil, it's totally unclean. The devil does not represent anything clean. Right. So when I say an unclean spirit or a come out devil, I'm not saying that you're an unclean person, but everything the devil has to do with is unclean. Yes. He is unclean. Amen. So if he torments you with the tormenting spirit, it's an unclean spirit. Amen. I'm not saying it's you that is unclean, Amen. but the, it's an unclean spirit that Amen. comes from the depths of hell. Yes. Yes. I remember praying for a sister. She had arthritis. She's all, all bound up. But when praying for her, I said, when, when, she, when, when, when victory starts to come in, I said, Satanás, un diablo cochino. She responded and recognized it's a filthy devil. He's the filthy devil cochino. Then she starts to straighten up from the arthritis. Her hands come, come straight. Her back, she straightens up. When she realizes it's not her that's a cochino Man. or a cochina, it's the devil. And he's a cochino. Right. He's a sick, Amen. filthy devil. Yes, Amen. And when he's exposed, he leaves. Amen. I don't want to deal with that filthy cochino devil anymore. Man. Get out! Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Who had his dwelling among the tombs? And no man could bind him. No, not with chains. Wow, that's right. Because that he had been often bound with fetters Man. and chains, and the chains had Man. been plucked asunder by him. <clears throat> and the fetters broken in pieces. Man. Neither could any man tame him. That's right. Man. That's right. That's right man. Many circus people, they tame the animals. Man. But this man was a complete animal Man. that nobody can tame him. Man. Man. He right. couldn't deal with himself. Nobody could deal with him either. Man. Right. Wow. For sure. An animal could be tamed, but this man could not be tamed. That's right. Wow. Man. And always night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus afar off, where did he go? He ran. To the tree of life that was dismounted from the boat. Nah. He ran and nah. worshipped under him. Yeah. But it was a religious spirit. But it brought him exactly to where he needed to be. Nah. At the foot of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Not only at the foot. But under him. The tree of life. Yeah. Had he had access to anything he wanted. He cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of the Most High? I adjure thee by, the, by God that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. Amen. He received his healing. He received his deliverance. He received his own mind. 
that he had lost his mind. Luke 8.43 Another woman who recognized that the tree said, but brother, he must work as a, as a, as a gardener. I said, bro, but there's a tree of life. This tree of life was walking. He was walking in a group, in a crowd, when a woman and a woman having an issue of blood for 12 years. How long have you been bound? How long will you deal with it? Until you realize you can't deal with it no more. That's right. You spent your money. Yes, sir. You spend your checks. And you're still in the same condition. Yes, sir. Even worse. Right, right. And the woman having an issue of blood 12 years. Which had spent all her living upon physicians. Neither could be healed of any. Yes. Came behind him and touched the border of his garment. Right. And immediately her issue of blood. Stanched. And Jesus said. Who touched me? Who touched the tree of life? Bearing the fruits, virtue, temperance, Holy Ghost, oil, peace, love, joy, every fruit that you have need of. When, oh, we're still talking about Elijah. <laughs> the Elijah of today is the Lord Jesus Christ. We're still on the subject of Elijah. Elijah the man, he was the same man as you and I. The strange thing, I'm, I'm trying to stay focused now, but the strange things, the Jews, they're very important. They always know genealogy. They know the ancestry. But where did Elijah come from? There's no written script about him. I, don't, I, want to, I want to stay down here, but if I blast off a little, I say, God created a man, and he came out of Gilead, the bomb of Gilead. Oh, a man who will do the will. I will not do what Jezebel does. I will do what you tell me to do, Lord, no matter what. Why an old man? Why not the young man? Too much pride, maybe. And Jesus said, who touched me? When all denied Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude throng thee and press thee. And sayest thou, who touched me? Yes, sir. Now, I've read this. We, I'm sure we read more Man. things over and over again. Man. But there's something here. There's something there, even the smallest word. Yes. And Man. Jesus said, somebody hath touched hey, me. Man. For I have perceived that virtue a fruit had just been plucked from me, from the tree of life, gone out of me. And when the woman saw, and she was not hid, she did not hide herself. Look at it. I, I didn't read. I didn't see this. She came trembling and falling down before him. She declared. So she came before everybody. She declared. She testified to them, though she was unclean at the very moment, because by the law, a woman that had. Yes. Went through her menstrual. Yes, she was to stay at home. Man. But she had it. She needed to, uh, a healing. Man. She said, he's passing this way. All I want to do is to touch the hem of his garment. So she declared unto him before all the people. She testified Man. before all the people for what cause she had touched them. This is the reason why I touched them. And how she was healed immediately. She was healed. She said, I was healed. And, and the Lord Jesus says, and he said unto her, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace. Yes. I'd imagine on every limb, and Elijah, all around through the place, was swarms of angels yes. and come and came down. And God came down. And God came down. And he said, poor, my poor, little, tired servant. He's so nervous and tore up. He don't know what to do. I want to pick out the angel standing here that's got the softest hands. When I saw that, it took me back to my experience. Because those who have heard this before, I said it felt like two Hands that were on fire that embraced my heart. When the ball of fire came down, I did not see it. But I felt it. And when it came down, it felt like two hands that grabbed my heart. 
My. Two hands that were on fire. My. Grabbed my heart. And then when it, it surrounded my heart, my. everything went away. My. And such an explosion, it threw me back into my, my seat. My. Knocked the wind out of me. And I came out like a screaming, a crazy man. Amen. I'm still that screaming, a crazy man. My. Hallelujah. My. Thank my. you, Lord Jesus. My. The angel standing here that's got the softest hands. Yeah. There's nobody else that has the softest hands but the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. You need a touch today. You need a touch tonight. The Lord is passing by this very moment. It's touching your hearts, touching your minds, touching your bodies. Yeah. All we have to do is that we saying, reach out and touch the Lord. Yeah. Touch me and I'll touch you back. Draw unto me and I will heal you. Draw unto me and I will draw unto you. Amen. So there's two Amen. things. First, you must draw to him. Amen. And then he will draw to you. Yes. He ran to the juniper tree. And then God came to his servant. Amen. But he had to come to the juniper tree. Yes, that juniper tree wasn't there just for no coincidence. No. It was placed there for his prophet. It was placed there for him to go and cool and get out to himself. Yes, we must get out to ourselves. Amen. So God can come to us. Don't you scare him. Walk over and stroke his brow right easy. One minute left. And I want the best cook among you. Yes. And go up there and get all the vitamins. I love when he says all that vitamins we need. Acts 2.38. Yeah. Hebrews 13.8. Oh, yeah. Luke 17.30. Malachi 4.5. All those vitamins are to the bread of life. Yeah. Give it to him, Elijah. You are pleasing me so much. I'm going to use you five more times. Yeah. Your spirit, there's still more things you're going to do. You're still going to... Yeah. Not only did you repair the altar for Israel, yeah. but you are going to, on a journey. Wow. And you are going to show yeah. that you're not only going to help the Israel, but there is... You're going to issue in the Gentile age. Yeah. You're going to go to justification, sanctification. Yeah. You're going to cross over border. Nah. You're going to throw your mantle on the man that you've chosen. Nah. And he's going to come back with a double blessing. Man, nah. yes, sir. Nah. The baptism nah. of the Holy Ghost. Nah. You. That you can find and put in the corn. Nah. The world's turned him down, but I'm going to treat him right. <laughs> the, hey, nah. the world's turned you down. Nah. Nah. The world's treating you wrong. Thank you, you can't get a right deal by doing something wrong. But Jesus Christ, He is offering you right now the squarest deal you can ever have. Amen. Bring all your wrongs, bring all your failures, yes, bring all the negativity, Amen. and let Him make it right. Amen. You can't find that deal. You find it in the world, I promise you this, 401k, I promise you health, I promise you six months of vacation, I promise you a signed bonus of $10,000. Wait a minute, there's something to this child What's going on. Amen. What do you want me to be? You want me to be a, a, a backstabber, a charlatan, or whatever? You want me to lie? Right. What kind of job are you applying for? Mm -hmm. But yes. Jesus Christ, he's offering you the greatest deal. Amen. Eternal life. Yes. From, yes. Give him your death. Right. Your sentence, born in sin, shaped in iniquity. Yes. Doomed to die. Amen. Doomed to go to hell. Yes. You and I, until Amen. we come oh, to Jesus Christ. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. No more drinking, no more smoking, Man. no more trying to kill yourself. Thank you. But Jesus Christ is the squarest, yes. the greatest deal that you can ever find. Man. Thank you. That means praise our God. Hallelujah! Man. Don't get scared now. Thank you. That, I, 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 I'm out of time already. That's 25 minutes. Man. You may come to the, I'm going to be over here. Well, you come to the music, the guitar song. Bring the forth the best that we got. Wow. God is going to give you the best that he has. Yes. Amen. If you don't have anything, give him the best that you have. Amen. And, and God will receive it. Amen. God already knows the situations. Amen. Just give him your best. Lord, I'm trying. I'm there. I'm only human. I'm only human. Yes. <laughs> I know that. That's why I made you. Amen. What else could you be? Amen. You're not a donkey. Yes. You're not an animal. We're human. Amen. We make mistakes. And he knew that. Amen. He knows we will make mistakes. 
Yes. Amen. There is one mistake he did not make. Choosing you and I. Isn't that beautiful? Now I hope somebody's there and is catching this. What could God love for about me? What can he do for me? My family has left me. My friends have left me. I've done prison two or three times. You may not even be in that situation. But you're about to make the wrong decision. Make Jesus Christ your decision. Amen. That's what we're talking about. Go to the tree of life. Go to where you can get the unadulterated word. And receive from him. Amen. What was the title? Run to the giant. Run to the juniper tree. Yes, sir. Receive the fruit of the tree of life. Manna from above. Amen. Not just what is it, not bread, but fruit. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this message. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your word. Lord, I... At times I want to be like the man Jonah, Lord. I want to run. I don't want to do this no more. But Lord, Jonah was in his in his right. He was in God's will. Lord, help us, Lord. Strengthen us. Lord, if there be somebody here, Lord, or somebody that's watching, Lord. And they're in a certain situation, Lord, they don't know where to turn. Turn to Jesus. Turn to the Word. This is the Word of God. This is God in written form. Run to Him. Hear His Word. Be liberated. Be baptized. Be receiving the fruit of the tree of life. Heavenly Father, Lord, I'm asking, Lord Jesus, that you be with Brother Johnny Salinas, Lord Jesus. Lord, I'm not on social media and all that stuff, Lord, so when things trickle in, that's when I find out, Lord. I'm not a busybody or any other people put in people's business, Lord, but forgive me for hearing about it too late, Lord. I'm asking, Lord Jesus, that you be merciful to him, Lord, and his family. Lord, strengthen him, Lord. Lord, for each and every one of us, Lord Jesus, I'm asking that you touch us, touch me, Lord. Thank you for healing me, Lord. Continue to heal me, Lord. Heal each and every one of us, Lord. We ask all things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Um, Jesus, join me in worshiping and watering that. Man. Word with praise and thanksgiving in our hearts and uh, thank you, Brother Stevan. Just I I don't think I'm the only one. It feels like I'm the only one. I might be the only one that that was for for me, but I think I don't, I don't think I'm the only one that feels that way. <laughs> Just ask your indulgence to just let me worship. Amen. Join me. Man, worship me. Yes, sir. Man. Jesus is my Savior. I shall not be moved. In his love and favor, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the Just like a tree that's blown apart. 
63, the old time religion. It's the old time Holy Spirit and the devil will come on in. That's the reason people fear it, but it's good enough for me. Oh, give me that old time, give me that old time. 